Kevin, it seemed like towards the end of the first half, they kind of started to get a hold of the game, and then they had that big third quarter. Where, where do you think things went wrong in that? Uh, third quarter went mainly. I mean, they hit two threes to end the, court, the end of half, but uh, I mean, contested threes. Um, but the third quarter, it got away from us. You know, they ran their sets. They got layups early, which got them going and slips to the rim. And, uh, so they ran their sets pretty hard. And defensively, they did a good job of packing the pain and switching up the defenses throughout each possession. They might go box on one or triangle and two, or, you know, then they might switch everything. So they, they do a good job of, you know, I'm sure they practice all that stuff and then applying it to the game. So that's a team that you look at and um, you take a lot weight, take, take a lot from that as a team and, and understand that's the level you want to get to. Kevin, I know you put a lot of emphasis on efficiency, especially for yourself in six and 19. So kind of piggybacking off of that question, was that anything that the Warriors defense did for you or was it where you getting the looks that you wanted? Yeah, they, yeah they, it's a combination of, I mean, I played great defense. They did a good job. They got long defenders, guys that can help, you know, so seeing bodies all the time when I had the ball, that's what great defenses do. Um, and then there's some shots I wish I could have had back. I rushed. A, I mean, once we got down 15, 20, I'm trying to get it back so fast, you know, end up taking bad shots and rush shots. So yeah, it's all a part of the journey, all a part of understanding what level you need to be at every position. And it's a great test for us. Uh, Kevin, we've talked a lot about various statistical things, you know, not getting as many shots as the other team, the rebounding tonight. Uh, do you see kind of a common theme uh, in on the nights when you guys struggle, yeah, I mean, they got some rebounds early on. Um, they got them second chance points, um, uh, but mainly it's a lot of slips to her. I mean, they 52 points in the paint, you know, they got a lot of stuff at the rim, uh, from running their offense. And you worry about the three point line so much with this team because that's their brand, and they end up getting layups. So you score more points. You know, they score more points inside the three point line sometimes than they do, um, outside. So you know, they ran that stuff hard. You got to give them credit for it. This is uh, twofold. One, I'm curious how your shoulder is, whether that played a role in it at all. And secondly, when you look at the ball movement that you guys had early, uh, to go from there to kind of getting stagnant, you know, in the third, really. Yeah. What, I guess, what did they force that with the constantly changing defenses or was that more you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of both, man. I mean, like they play, they did a good job of, you know, loading up and, you know, and actually getting stops and getting out and running too, which helped their offense. And, you know, it was a lot of stuff that just snowballed into what we have at the end of this game here, being down 20, 30 points, you know. So it's good to look at and good to – good thing we got a game tomorrow and try to get try to get better from this. And cool. Good. Didn't, didn't hinder me at all. Uh, Kevin, I uh, just want to ask you just what are you seeing out of Steph right now and just – um the fact that you guys both missed pretty much a whole season and are back at this level, um, just what was it like just that time you all shared and how that helped you master the game? I mean, he's a master at what he does. I've been saying that since, you know, he came into the league, you know, just a crafty player that can pretty much do anything off the ball, that can you know, cut to the rim, shoot floaters, shoot threes, and then he can handle the basketball too and get down to his spot. So, I mean, you know, I've been there. He put in a ton of work. He cares about the game. He loves his teammates, plays with energy, you know. So that's what you get, you know. Every, any night, every night is a player like that. He planted all – well, MVP – Hall of Fame level, you know, you got to respect it. I mean, I was who I was before I got there, you know, I felt. Um, so I'm sure we, you know, being around other great players, um, you see how they work, you see how they move, and you try to implement some of their stuff into what you do and vice versa. So I feel like I took some stuff, he took some stuff, took some stuff from Andre, Clay, Draymond, all of them. So I think we all was in a nice melting pot um, over there, and uh, we learned from each other. Uh, Katie, I know it's it's still relatively early in the season. Where do you think – your squad is in terms of not just building habits, but also kind of recognizing different looks, different things that people are throwing at you. Yeah. I mean, um, we get better at it. Um, we understand in the way we want to play, you know, each and every game on both ends. Um, 
when you play against a team that been together for, you know, same coaching staff for what, six, seven, eight years, you know, so all they, all they doing is just plugging in pieces and parts. They understand how they want to play. For us, we want to get to that point, understanding what we want to play, and then whoever comes in, they, you know, fall into line that way. So, you know, it's, and that's a process, and it takes a while. And uh, But I like the I like where we are, and guys are getting better. All of us are understanding what we need from one another, and uh, it's only going to get better from here. Last one, Tim. Kevin, when you, you sort of along those lines, when you talk about the stuff you can learn from a game like this and seeing a team like that, I mean, I know some of it's just you guys playing together more, um, but what else specifically are you looking for in terms of trying to take away lessons from a game like this? I don't mean, just how we could be more connected on both ends of the floor, how we can pass um, and play faster on offense. I mean, it's everything you can look at, just to see details of the game that we can get better at and be more consistent with it. And I think that's every team's goal is to be more consistent and uh, eliminate mistakes from your from your repertoire. And, um, we on that journey right now. So, you know, it's a great test for us, and we look forward to tomorrow. Thanks, Kevin.